Hey there, world travelers. Hey there. I'm Tanya. And I'm Dave. And we are Turn It Up World. Welcome back to Lima, Lima Peru. Peru. Right, we are going to continue with this exploration of Lima, Peru. Last time we actually got to explore the beautiful area of Barranco where we did an amazing street food tour and we even dived into some of the famous street art in that area. Yes, we love Barranco. It's yeah. one of our favorite, favorite spots here in Lima. You should definitely check it out when you're here and also watch that video. We have a, you know, a lot of good advice in that one, so check it out. And we're gonna continue with this exploration of Lima, Peru as we're now gonna be diving into another area of Lima one that is actually pretty popular and maybe an area that you might be visiting if you come into Peru, which a lot of people do, and that is Mira Flores. Yeah, I am excited about today. This is gonna be fun. Mira Flores is one of the you know, best places in Lima, and we're just gonna dive right into it and check out every aspect of it. Absolutely, and so as an American travel couple who loves to travel and explore, we are putting together a top 12 list of things to do for you to try when you are here in Lima, Peru, exploring the area of Miraflores to have the best day ever. And I think we need to get this party started. Yeah, let's do it. Let's rock. Now we are standing in pretty much the heart of Kennedy Park, or Central Park here. And you probably hear, I'm not sure, but there's music playing behind me. It's a gorgeous park to be in. A lot of things going here from you, I mean, there's a lot of variety. People come here to chill and relax. Today in particular is a day where you see various artists spread out throughout the park here. And one of the highlights is it is the cat park. There are tons of beautiful little kitties just floating around this park. It's pretty popular and pretty famous for that as well. I wish you could be here right now with me because the smell of the flowers that are just kind of uh, resonating is spectacular. So Kennedy Park, if you're definitely coming to Mirror Flores, you can't miss it. Just follow the gorgeous smells and the cute kitties. We're at a spot here in Kennedy Park where shows go on, performances, people gather around, and Tanya's down there dancing away. You can also see dancing going on Ooh, as well, if you're lucky. <laughs> and right now we're catching Tanya doing some dancing. Uh-oh. Nice moves. Nice moves. <laughs> So something else you can do here in Miraflores is visit this beautiful church behind us. I believe the name of it is Parroquia Virgin Milagrosa. Or as I like to say, the Miraflores Church. And it's located right next to Kennedy Park, so you can't miss it. Yes, and it was built by a architect, a Polish architect, in 1919 by the name of Malachowski. And there's beautiful stained glass inside that you should definitely check out when you're here. We need like change or something. <laughs> We're at one of the great markets here in Miraflores. It's Mercado Numero Uno of Surquillo. And that's really, really cool spot. It's a place where locals come to buy their foods, right? Their vegetables and all great stuff. It's great value here. I'm excited to really check this place out. They also have these small little restaurants inside called Barriques where you can actually eat some food. So that's really cool as well. You should definitely check this place out here when you're in Miraflores.
So sticking right along with the market theme, another market that you definitely want to check out is the Indian market. And the Indian market, it's made up of a bunch of little shops, actually I wouldn't say a bunch, made up of a handful of small shops in there of traditional Peruvian handcrafts from alpaca wool to souvenirs to musical instruments. It's quite incredible. Now, I will tell you this, even though the prices start cheap, you can go in there and negotiate and have some fun for sure. So if you're looking for that awesome, unique piece of souvenir for family and friends, definitely check out the Indian market and do not be afraid to negotiate. So, okay, I came to the Indian market and of course I win. I actually finally, finally, and I'll maybe show you guys this on Instagram, I finally got my alpaca pancho. And of course it had to be in Lima at the Indian market. And I am in love. Happy. Happy. <laughs> We're now at Waka Pupiana here in the heart of Miraflores. Yeah. And so if you're coming to Miraflores, definitely check this out. Uh, it was built by a pre-Inca civilization, actually in 400 AD. Yes. And the construction is really incredible. It's actually made out of adobe or mud bricks. And yeah. it's really incredible what they did to actually put it together. Yeah, I mean, as we went around to the various parts of this, we saw exactly how they did this. I mean, they were dressed basically in bare minimum clothing, yes. probably to keep cool. But they each brick is, hand, is handmade, piece by piece. And it was really interesting how they made them. So basically, you had you know kind of clay and mud just all kind of in water uh, and then they would form that uh, form the bricks and then it would have to dry and then they would just you can see across how they would build the bricks horizontally almost like a bookshelf uh, and it's actually a very ingenious design because you have quite a few earthquakes here in Lima and this has withstood many many earthquakes over the years much more so than modern buildings so it's actually an incredible design and this whole bookshelf structure can help withstand the earthquakes. And I will say this to all you modern builders out there, if you can learn from these folks right here, your buildings would stand the test of time as well. So <laughs> take a page out <laughs> yes. of their book for sure. <laughs> Viva Peru! Now, if you're coming to Miraflores, you have to check out the Malecon, which is really the Miraflores boardwalk. Although, so beautiful. it's so beautiful. And it's not made out of wood, like traditional boardwalks. It's a stone walkway overlooking the cliffs, and it's just so amazing. Uh, it's great, you know, so much romance going on up here as well, yeah. with couples picnicking, and exactly. just really enjoying the day. Yeah, bring a blanket out here. You can kind of sit and listen to the ocean waves out here. The flowers are just beautiful, and so is the greenery here. It's amazing. You can also see a lot of folks exercising, whether it's renting bikes and scooters or jogging. They're just like taking advantage of the mm -hmm. spot. That this is, is an true. amazing spot. Oh, check this out. You can even stop here on the boardwalk. There's a place called Besos Francis. It's a creperia. Crepes like are that. one of our favorite Great. either breakfast or snack treats. But this place looks absolutely amazing. Oh, I love even the seats around, kind of just enjoying some of the views for sure. And look at Dave. Dave's already up there placing an order for the both of us. spot that you can enjoy here in Miraflores is the Park of Love which is also part of the Malacone and if you notice behind David over there there is a gorgeous statue and that statue is called the kiss the kiss <laughs> and it actually was created I believe February 14th which in the States is Valentine's Day yeah. by whom it was created by Victor Delphine, who's actually, it's a famous Peruvian artist. Uh, and it's really, it's an amazing sculpture. It's become a real emblem here in Miraflores. You can't miss it. You're finding a lot of people that have on the grass, just canoodling and kissing yeah. and enjoying the park of love. Yeah, it's all about romance. Yes. So don't worry about too much PDA because public displays of affection is what it's all about here. It's all welcomed <laughs> here in the park of love. Give me a kiss. <laughs> hey, so one thing you can actually do when you're coming down to Miraflores in Lima is you can ride one of these 
Tasty Bad Boys. You can scooter around <laughs> and it's really cool that you can, you know, ride these and really discover some interesting spots along the way here in, in Lima and Miraflores. Exactly. And if you're here on a Sunday, they actually close Arequipa Boulevard, which starts in Miraflores and goes all the way to the city center. Yes. So you could theoretically just take that whole stretch and go all the way to the city center. Yes, and it's about five, it's like a five mile span right. that you can certainly do that. You can bike. We got some little friends that hey. probably get our picture, which is wonderful. <laughs> But I would definitely check the rules to make sure that you can take these that five mile span along Arequipa. Um, we did hear some mixed things about that for sure, but it's a great way to get around the city. You just have to download an app. Yeah, exactly. Download the app and get a little information and then you're good to go. And you're on your way. And it's a lot of fun, so. Bye! <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs>Yeah, look at all that. Let me just catch my breath because getting down here is not an easy track. You have to come down quite a few stairs just to get here. But there's something else that you can do in Miraflores. It's actually, enjoy some surfing. Now there's a bunch of different tints set up along the way here. And what we did here is that it's about 70 soles for an hour and a half worth of surfing. Now the waves are pretty consistent, so that's a great amount. You know, that's a good price for the amount of time that you can have out there practicing your skills at surfing. So I would definitely try this out if you have a chance for sure. We didn't have a chance to do it this time, but I am certainly looking forward to trying this maybe next time. Viva Peru! Try to do some legs. Okay. Ready for some more legs after that hike up? You can do it. There you go. Do it. I can do go it. Go for it. Oh Let's put my. the pedal to the metal. Oh my. Pedal okay. to the metal. You know, after all that food yesterday, oh, this is probably a nice good job. idea. There you go. I think it's great. Oh my god. Oh, oh, oh. I need to work off that jelly belly. Oh yeah. There it goes. Oh, there it is. How do you stop? How do you stop? There's no stopping. What do you do? Just faster. <laughs> Very popular spot here in Miraflores that a lot of people come to. I'm not sure if it's Dave and I's cup of tea, but a lot of people do come to the Larkamar Mall. And there's so many shops here, there's restaurants, a lot of things actually on the water, which, which makes this place kind of popular. Right, and I gotta say, when we looked up on TripAdvisor and saw this is one of the top ranked places, I'm like, what, it's a mall? I know, I can't I don't wanna go to a mall, that. a mall was, in Lima. I, was, I know, right? I couldn't believe that, yes. but it's like, you can actually have a beer, you can actually chill, and you can probably see behind us, it's just well lit, full of packed, full of people yeah. and the smells of the food I'm starving actually. Yeah, apparently there's some great restaurants in here and also the views I mean, the views are to die for they're unbelievable yeah so definitely if you're coming to Miraflores this is a great spot to come to uh, even at night I think night might be better than the daytime it's a little bit cooler you don't have the uh, hot sun yes. which by the way the sun here is tremendously hot even if it's like 70 oh, yeah. degrees you're closer to the equator, which means you're closer to the sun. Yeah, and put on the sunblock, because I didn't all the time, and I got burned, so. Yeah, no, and if you forget your sunblock, you can actually buy some at the Larkamar Mall. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Viva Peru! So we are back now in our room, comfy clothes, chillaxing. It has been an exciting, but wow, intense day. It has been. Yeah. Long day. Just awesome, though, really. It really was. I just hope you guys really appreciate and enjoyed that you know, exploration of Miraflores and our top things to do to really have the best day ever in Miraflores, Peru. Yeah, and I tell you, we've had such an amazing time in Lima 
They were putting together a Best of Lima video for you, travel guide for you all. So stay tuned for that. Yes. So we are excited about that as well. Super excited yes. for that. Definitely stay tuned. And as always, if you haven't already, please be sure to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so that you get a every time we post something new and exciting. As always, thank you so guys so much for joining us and we look forward to seeing you on the road. Wow, look at that. There's actually some black sand down there. The wave definitely look more impressive as you get lower. Still surfers heading out of the beach, even near sunset.